Oh shit. Vendor Street. What are they selling? Let's get some fucking hot noodle. Hey, got chicken noodle? By any chance? Oh shit, he munching those noodles. Get over here, son. Oh! No. There's a robot. Oh shit, we got so many coins! Nice smoke particle? <laughs> uh, who the fuck dead? No one yet. I was wondering who was lured here, lured here by the smell. I expected Akane though, not you. I wasn't lured by the smell or anything. Anyway. Looks like this street is full of food vendors. But as you can see, there's no customers or staff. Only the food is here. Then we can just eat? Fantastic! I love this ve food vendor street. Normally a street like this would be bustling with activity, but there's no one here. It's actually pretty creepy to think about- what, what is creepy about it? Just eat the food! Well, okay. I, I watch Spirited Away. I know it can go wrong. But still! This is, this is not the same movie. Just eat the food. What are you complaining about? Wait, don't leave here. It might be some- No, there's nothing. I would just grab that fucking food and start eating, chat. There's no way. Like, come on, son. Some hot noodle right now? Maybe it's not cold in the island. What the fuck? That's a huge monokumer. Plushy factory? Makes sense. <laughs> hey, Chiaki. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Oh, we got a new Pope. Is this some kind of factory? You're gonna be spirited away? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure the moral of the story for that movie... I mean, I don't recall what the moral of the story is. Must be something nice. Maybe it's don't steal? I don't know. But, um... Hey, I remember the part where they got turned into... What was it? They got turned into pigs, right? Or something like that? I don't know. I, I think I'd still go for it. Hey, I mean, it ended well, didn't it? As long as one of the people don't turn into pigs, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Just, just stuff your face. Don't let your parents get turned into pigs. It's not a bad moral, you know? Or, let your parents stuff their face and when they turn to pigs, you know, do the thing, you know? Help them. <laughs> That's the lesson. Morales to keep your innocence and not take the easy way out? Ah, that's too preachy. I'd rather just eat from the stall. The, you know, the food vendor stall, that is, you know? It's too preachy. The, 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 don't take the easy way, you know, eh. You know, eh, eh, you know, eh. <laughs> Breaking Bad? That was the moral of the story there. Do not fuck up your family for a, for a meth business. Do not ruin your family in order to become a, a meth... Well, I was gonna say dealer, but it was more like a drug overlord. I don't think that's it. There's no pigs in that world. <laughs> Chad, what if Breaking Bad... <laughs> oh god, what if they turn to pigs when they cook too much meth? And then, and then, and then, Walter Jr. would be the, the main character. He's gotta help his dad no longer be a pig. But, here's the kicker. Because they couldn't, because like, if they found out that, that, that Walter was a pig, they would know, like, oh, he cooked the meth. We know that cooking meth in this world uh, means that you get turned to a pig. So Walter Jr. would have to put on, like, some funny glasses and, and clothes on the pig. Of his dad pig version. And he would have to, like, pretend that he was still, like, not a pig. So you'd have these very wacky situations where... where, where you'd have Hank show up, uh, Hey, Walter, what's up? And he'd be like, oink. And he'd be like, uh, that, 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 dad, that, it's so funny. <laughs> Uncle Hank, I need to take my dad away. He's not feeling too well. You just see him like going oink in the background. Chad, I think they should hire me. That would be so wacky, so goofy, so silly, and so funny. It's got Murakuma's face on it. I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Hajime, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? This building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, but... Well? It clearly looks suspicious. I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. You wanna go inside together? Hmm... Surprised didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? She think I'm the traitor?
So, let's go in. You. Hey, Hajime, you're the kind of person who waits until the very end to eat their favorite food, aren't you? Yeah, okay, uh, you know what, Chad? What about what about you guys? Because for me, you know what I do? I like I, I, I do half and half. I like to start with a little bit of the favorite food and then also end with it. So, you know, don't save all of it till the end, but, but definitely don't wait until the end to eat it. Because, I mean, usually you want to eat your, your food, like, you know, warm. If you wait until the end, the food might not be warm anymore. I don't know. I, I think I'd go half and half with it. I think I'd go half and half with it. How could you tell? Well, I like to eat my favorite foods first. See? So instead of the warehouse, let's start with the factory. Oh, oh, there's a difference. I'm sorry. All right, then I'm going inside. Oh, that's a lot of monokumers. That what the fuck? the heck is this? Well, clearly they're producing monokuma. A lot of them, though. Was being manufactured one after the other and being carried away on a conveyor belt was... Monokuma. <laughs> oh, lordy. The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machine. The coconut tree carried by the conveyor belt is processed and eventually... Made into this stupid thing. Cool. The Monokumas are being tossed into this gigantic basket, one after the other. <laughs> the industrial revolution. It better not be real. I picked one up with my hand. I see, so these are plushies. Turn... what? Um. Monokuma plushies? So the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. I, I don't... um... But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> oh, shit. Hmm. Isn't a resemblance uncanny? They're my life-size plushies! Life-size plushies? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich! Hmm. But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. I mean, they're plushies. It's not like plushies go bad. You just sell them when, you know, well, you know, and that's it. How can you be overstocked on plushies? Hmm. The only way that is if, like, you make a plushie of something so bad that no one wants to buy it. Which, you know, you could consider Monokuma to be such a thing, I guess. So this place is for manufacturing life-size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Don't look down on me! You really think it's just for life-size plushies? There's a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Oh, well, I don't feel... See, why is, Hajime... why is Hajime such a fucking pussy, though? What, how, how do you not- how does it not pique your curiosity, son? How would you not be curious? Jackie, tell this man to go. But still. What if there's some kind of important clue? There we go! Thank you, let's go. What are you gonna do? You're right, then we should go there for just a little while. Listen, son, we've been here for almost a month. Let's get to that- oh, that's the break room. There's a break room on the other side of this door. Sounds like a place for housewives to gossip. <laughs> what? But it doesn't seem like there's anyone at this factory. You sure Nagato again? Yeah, Nagato definitely... I mean, you saying that without me mentioning it all, you're probably implying that we're gonna be playing as, as him again at some point. So shut it. Um, regardless, he definitely should be a little bit more, you know, into it. Like, you've been here a month. <laughs> Why are you, like, backing down a, you know, d d fucking look into it. Who is still alive? Me, Chiaki, Nagato, Akane, Soda? Sonia? Oh, and Fuyuhiko. I think that's all. Yeah. Yeah, so current dead are Byakuya, Gundam... Teru Teru, uh, Nekomaru, Kyoko, Mahiru, Mika, Nibuki, and Peko. Yeah, we lost Gundam la last last stream. It was fucked. It was bullshit. But oh well. But I was thinking I picked into the piled up sacks of cardboard boxes. Yeah, the entire bottom row is gone, dude. <laughs> They're fucking gone. 
There's a Monokuma calendar, a Monokuma sandbag, and even a Monokuma guitar. First there was... The... Uh, first there was a Monokuma archive in the funhouse. House is a plushy factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. A mascot that isn't popular anymore is like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. I, I can't be bothered due to the voice of HM. My throat is kind of fucky. I'll try though. Mm. I'll be honest, it doesn't help that like the water is fucking cold. Like when the water is room, I mean, okay, the warm, the, the water is room temperature. What I mean is when the room temperature is slightly higher. But right now the water is so cold that it's not helping like with the throat situation here. <clears throat> Starting to talk even crazier. Chucky, like, boing into the tons of blocks. Oh, books. There's a bunch of books stacked up high. What in the world are these? Monokuma's poetry collection? How oh, stupid. W who the hell's gonna read this crap? <laughs> Hey. There's another book here too, let's see. Monokuma's most precious moments. See? Oh, he did a clip compilation. That's the actual title of his book, but it's a collection of nude photos. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Monokuma's already naked. Yep. I know. You think he hangs dong chat? This looks like a Monokuma panel. Why so many? I was thinking about using these to decorate the stores that sell my merch and make them all BOOM! I mean, make them all look BOOM! <laughs> then it'd stand out, you know? No store would sell- no store would sell yourself. You're so of course so not, you are a fool! That's why I'll open an official Monokuma shop! Thinking about opening chains all over the world! Of course, I mean, a target will be my life-size Monokuma plushie! Well, you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Enough already, you have no business sense anyway, so just stop it! No, no! Hey, hey, don't say that! So our best together, we'll be as popular as Pogs were in the 90s! Hey, hey! Don't you remember how long those stayed popular? Besides, if you're serious about opening a business, you've already committed a major mistake. I won't forget Because there's no merch of me! My little oh, sister! Oh, no, me, my little sister. Don't you know the a Aesop's fable about the rabbit and the bear? What was the... I, f I swear I've heard that one. Not a tortoise? Hey, um... Long, long time ago, there were uh, these two old guys. Hey. Two old guys living together? Shing. The old guys thought rabbits aren't as popular as bears. The end. Ooh. Well, he's not fully wrong. Depends on who you ask, I suppose. CD of Monokuma mixtapes, they all fucking suck. Uh, <laughs> so even if I made merch of you, it's pointless. <laughs> Half big rabbit is so lame, you don't even have one ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me! You're the one who has no fashion sense! Good lord. <laughs> well, she dead again. But honestly, I can't help but feel like I might have made too many panels. Special bleeding service! So who wants to? So whoever wants to redecorate the room, please do it as much as you like. Here. Come on, what are you waiting for? Hajime, let's run. You're right. Run out of the warehouse, narrowly avoiding Monokuma's plan for inventory disposal. I don't know. I feel like we could have explored a little tiny more, but everyone's so afraid of nothing. It's like, oh, oh well. It's like you just got tired. That, that's like the thing that, uh, like, jeez, why are they so afraid of Monokuma when it's clear, like, okay. It's not like he's gonna, it's not like he's the one who's going around killing people, you know? Like, sure, he's the one going around giving people motives to kill people, but not the one doing the kill. It's like, they, they act like he's suddenly gonna, like, kill someone. It's like, no. <sighs> like, if anything, it'd be someone to just ignore, a, I guess, until at least the moment he decides to break out some, like, I don't know. Here's a video of your mother about to get shot unless you kill someone on the island. That's when you start panicking, I guess. But until then, it's like, ah, oh, fuck it, ignore the dumb bear. <laughs> Let's go outside. After the last round, the funhouse, do you blame them? I mean... But that happens when, like, when everyone's together. Not when ju there's just only two of us. Two of them. Whatever. 
No one's gonna be dumb enough to believe that he would put them in, into another funhouse if there's only two of them. There's an army military base! Oh my god. Well, now we know where he got the, the, the helicopter and whatnot. That thing over there. Is that a tank? Is it real? I just said there's a lot of other stuff here that looks really dangerous. Like Akane. This is boring. What are you talking about? There's a tank right there. You. Huh? I like strong dudes. Weapons don't excite me at all. What? Who's saying anything about that? Obviously. Oh god, I forgot this is a thing. <laughs> My, I would. <laughs> uh, a real man fights with his fists. I go through him and two. Right. Want to battle a little? If you want, you can wrestle my boob pillow. <sighs> you know, that cells. We, we could be doing another run in that cells right now. No, thanks. Can she die next? <laughs> Asking for a friend. <laughs> God. Oh, Monokuma. No, no, no. There we go. I knew you could do it. Stop splurting. Stop splurting for Akane, chat. Uh, any more? Any more? Nope. Miss Sonia, tell me you have something more insightful to say. Um. One thousand dollars. Tempting. Tempting. There appears to be a military base. Is that so? Despite the fact that this island is quite small, the military technology here seems rather extensive. Right. This might prove useful when the time comes to combat the future foundation. Useful? Well, we'd be able to operate stuff like tanks and heavy weapons? Huh? Really? Well, just read the instruction manual, I'm sure you'll do it. You also need to give up your life so I can survive the class trial? Do you not remember how the Peko trial went? <laughs> you you're still the one doing the killing? <laughs> no no. <laughs> no no no. In my country even a child in grade school can operate a tank no problemo. No problemo. Um a course in modern warfare is required class in all of our grade schools. Session with anime and now this. Sonia's country never ceases to baffle me. However, Weapons are only weapons when humans start to use them. If no one uses them, they are nothing more than scrap metal. If you don't vote out the blackened, the non-blackened dies. Since I'm the blackened, you would need to die. No, 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 I'd vote you out. I'd still vote you out. Um, I would I, I, I would be very sad about it, but I, but I would vote you out if you were the blackened. I, I would be crying, but, but, I, but, but I would still vote. Because, like, you know... I don't want to die. <laughs> There's no heartless. It's not heartless. I'd be. I, didn't you hear me say that I would be crying? I'd be like so sad, and then I press the vote button. The terms are one thousand dollars and dying so that I can live. Well, you see, the thousand dollars sounded tempting, but dying, bit much, bit much. I'm not sure I can deal with all that. Bit too much. Anyways. Uh, the stuff in the base probably won't be because he here's the thing if a kind of dies and then I die then we have to the, then I, I'm gonna have to meet her in the afterlife you could try killing monokuma no but but I don't want to meet Akane in the afterlife that's the thing please wait no that is wrong see that is wrong um. I'm trying to distance myself from Akane if I if, if we have to share the afterlife it's gonna be so nasty kind is preferable to death. Ah. Mm. Dog, I got better conditions. You give me a Snickers bar. Hmm. Tempting, tempting. I'm just thinking, like, do I want to give you one or do I want to keep it for myself? Because I could go for one of those. Uh, hmm. That's the Future Foundation's insignia. Wait, what you find? I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a second. Something in the base probably won't be useful to us. Uh, I have discovered a puzzling document in the tank operator's seat. 
You broke Alan the Valon plan? Well, what is this? However, Assuming it belongs to Monokuma and it was placed rather ostentatiously. I do not know how much we can trust it. Do you think it would be a useful clue? Monokuma probably did leave it. Did leave it. Like you said, it's hard to know how much we can trust it. So what does it say? Um, Beyond what is written in here, I do not know much. Well, but it does document Jabberwock Island's redevelopment plan at a considerable length. What is the plan? It placed Jabberwock Island under the Future Foundation's control and prepared it as a central headquarters. Central headquarters for the Future Foundation? I thought Jabberwock Island was a tourist destination. Why would, why would the Future Foundation be interested in it? In actuality, there was something written in here that caught my attention. The travel agency that managed Jabberwock Island went bankrupt, so the island was uninhabited for a long time. Because of that, the island was unaffected by the incident, which allowed them to easily gain a foothold. Wait, hold on. So this was uninhabited for a long time? If that's true, the maintenance here has been way too attentive. The items at the supermarket are always stocked and the hotel is still really clean. Is that the future... Could that be? Could that the future? Could that be the future foundation's responsibility? More importantly, what's the incident? What does it mean that the island was unaffected by it? Um. I cannot discern from this passage alone. Simply reading this will not help me grasp what those words mean. Well. However, there is one th more thing that caught my attention. More? Remember the guidebook to Jabberwock Island in the library? Um. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Bloomin' is a glutton, he'd rather give $1,000 in a Snickers bar. Well, no, it's just I was thinking, like, if I, if I had a, a, one of those, like, right here, right now, would I give it away or keep it, right? And you cannot eat money, and uh, I'm getting hungry, and, you know, one thing leads to another, and, uh, holy shit, you know? And I'm blaming you guys partially, because you're talking to me about how you're eating burgers, and chicken sandwiches, and lasagna, and I'm like, huh? Ah. <laughs> Suffering. Ugh. And I'm cold. The central island houses a large administrative building. However, we could not find that building anywhere. We even, comment uh, we even commented on how strange that was, right? What if we were never in the central island all alone? But according to this plan, the building that the... Uh, sorry, chat. I had to yawn there. Sonya's putting me to sleep. Oh god, it's the cold, man, it's the cold, I just... According to this plan, the building that the Future Foundation is planning to use for their headquarters could be the same building? Um. They are planning to rebuild it and use it as the Future Foundation for headquarters, so it is written. So inconsistent, how do you rebuild a building that doesn't even exist? What the hell is going on, man? Perhaps. We were so distracted by all the horrible situations that kept happening, one after the other. We might have overlooked a more pressing issue. That is the mystery of this island. What's really going on? This mystery doesn't make any sense, no matter how much we think about it, there's no reason behind it. Chad, I got one of those really thick socks on right now, and I'm still feeling my feet going kind of cold. Jesus. Let's ride the tank. This is a tank, right? Is it real? Can it move? This helicopter. Yep, there it is. Is this the helicopter Monokuma used to execute Tero Tero? Screw with me. What? Um, what happened? I don't know. Nothing, I'm fine. Couldn't help punching it, but I just ended up hurting my fist. <laughs> Hajime, you, 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 what? Is he going crazy? Thank you for the punch, Jack Cobalt. Welcome back. How's it going? It's popping. I think he's going crazy. First, he doesn't want to enter the, the factory to investigate. Then he just randomly punches the goddamn helicopter made of metal. What was he thinking? This is a military truck? I like the airplane at the first sound, this looks like it actually has an engine inside. I don't even know how to drive. Besides, it's not like I can escape this island by driving off of it. Okay, son, take the, the helicopter. Punch a child, no balls? There are no children here. I'll punch you. <laughs> God, <laughs> water is so cold. What the fuck? Let's go make some tea. What is this? Sea King Industries. That's odd. Oh. 
Whoa. Guessing this is where I made the Mono Beasts. There's a bunch of strange machines lined up in all directions. It was very sci fi. Hmm. Seeking industries. Hmm? Huh? A company that is specializes in manufacturing electric insulation and other machine parts. They're a mid sized company with only 100 employees, but they're the biggest company on Jabberwock Island. And this place looks like a research facility. From a mid sized company, this is a pretty nice facility. Uh. I guess so, I only read about them in a pamphlet next to the reception desk. Besides, the size of the company isn't really the issue here. What's going on? This company obviously doesn't make machine parts, so just what the heck are they making here? Looks like the Mono Beasts. Which sounds like they're making something more dangerous. It's like it might be a good idea to thoroughly in investigate this place. Oh! Mono Coomer. Huh? Are you serious? Gotcha, bitch. Right. This machine is making another machine? Finish Pro looks like it's modeled after a four-legged animal. Hey, hey. Doesn't that animal looking machine remind you of anything? You're talking about the mono beasts? Maybe. Is there any chance that those mono beasts were created here? Mono beasts were created here? Fine, fine. Yep, that's what this place is for! Hey, hey! No matter how much you insist it's a game, the people won't be convinced a place like this doesn't exist, right? That's why it's just fine. There's Great. Something wrong what the hell you. did he mean by that? It wasn't making any sense at all. It doesn't, make, it doesn't matter who's convinced, because we'll never be convinced. What's going on? I mean, this place is for manufacturing machine parts. Why are they able to create such a dangerous robot in a place like this? Does it mean Monokuma took over this place and modified it to do this? I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. It's all a simulation, chat. I'm telling you. We're in the Matrix. Oh, wait a sec. No. This automated machine looks like it's making something. Is this a mannequin? Maybe. It's a humanoid humanoid machine. Is that a robot? Are you serious? Can it make robots? <gasps> so far the technology advanced without me knowing. Do you think one do you think Nekomaru was made here? That was close. It's a similar humanoid robot, it's possible, maybe. Hey, hey, hey. But why would a company that manufactures machine parts have access to this kind of technology? I don't know. Maybe it's just a this place is somehow connected to the Future Foundation, too. Um, should I be worried that maybe some people on the island are actually robots, like, in disguise? What the fuck? But then again, well, because I, first, things, first thing I thought was like, oh my goodness, they're all robots. But then, like, wait a minute, it couldn't be the case? What's up, Builder Boy? How's it going? What's up, my dude? Welcome back. But maybe one of them is a robot. Maybe, just maybe. Or maybe I'm looking too much into it. Should look around some more? Fuck you. Do you want to see the monitor? Certainly not. Guess talk to Soda again? <laughs> He's going nutty. Kazuchi, get a hold of yourself. Why? Why? Because he just started laughing all of a sudden. <laughs> the hidden metal gear facility. <laughs> yeah, this is where they made like yeah, exactly the the, the same animal looking thing robot that you fight at the start of Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which is a game that I definitely need to stream at some point. Obviously, what else am I gonna do except laugh? I mean, it's just so childish. What are you talking about? Hey, well, there's a computer over there, so I'm snooping around see if I can find any clues. Whoever is using this computer must have been sending emails to his buddy or something. <laughs> he was probably trying to write a manga or something. He sent one of his story ideas to his buddy. Such a horrible delusional, delusional story. I was so embarrassed to read it that it gave me goosebumps. Delusional story. Who was written in that email anyway? Well, I'll start with the idea for the story. Apparently, global riots are occurring in various regions around the world. And these riots were caused by high school students. <laughs> I mean, seriously, that's not realistic at all. Yeah. These riots just keep growing as people grow more dissatisfied and frustrated with society until eventually it spreads like an infectious disease all over the world. Hmm. Footage of the riots start, start getting circulated and strange incidents start occurring one after the, the other. Hopeless anxiety instantly spreads throughout the world as the end of the world gets closer and closer. End of the world? <laughs> I know, right? It sounds like something a lame high school band would think of as a song title. Hey. Whoever wrote this needs to come up with a better story idea, because this wasn't realistic at all. I mean, students causing a riot on that scale is totally impossible. I'd never believe it for a second. 
<laughs> but I learned a valuable lesson. I should always delete embarrassing emails right away. You, you, what? You didn't delete it, did you? Are you sure it's okay to say that it's just a made-up story? <laughs> of course. I mean, unrealistic things might happen in real life from time to time, but of course there's no way this is real. More impossible than a notebook that kills people just by writing in it. <laughs> you know, I mentioned I mentioned Death Note earlier in the stream, so I guess it all fits. It uh, the science chat, all it all sign, all big sign. All the stars and the planets are aligned. <laughs> What a quinky dink. What a quinky dink. So you have a Gundam mur mural on screen now? Yeah. I didn't know how big I could make it. Actually, now that I think about it, he deserves better. There we go. There, th look at that. <laughs> we doing it for him, chat. Don't care. You're right. Kinda makes me want to rewatch, like actually fully rewatch Death Note. It's just a lot of unimaginable things have kept happening to us, so maybe I'm getting a little confused. But the world ending? There's no way something won't, something so unbelievable could actually happen. Rip best boy indeed. Well, we still have Nagito. Maybe, maybe, maybe he can still be a decent boy. Well, at any rate, it's clear now, isn't it? What's clear? Uh. This used to be the Seeking Industries, but it's not anymore. Although Nagato has been a fucking asshole lately. More than the usual. I see. After this island became uninhabited, Monokuma took over this place and modified it without permission. He did all this just to shock us. That's the reason? That's right. It's not so weird, this whole time he's been doing similar stuff to us. But why? This is bad. Maybe there's a bunch of crazy rich dudes who are into this stuff. Huh? They're the ones who aren't making us kill each other. Those bastards got off on watching kids kill each other. Hey, hey, hey! Wait, hold on. Now that I said it out loud, that's actually a terrible assumption. I mean... If that's true, then our fates are in the hands of those rich, perverted bastards. Like something that would happen in a work of fiction. And, uh, it's all references here, baby. It's Reference Island! The thought of it actually happening in reality is definitely unsettling. Can we leave now? Leave him to his devices, leave him to make more, uh... You know... Oh! Yo! The fuck? Hello? Hey, Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up? Well... Well, I was thinking you've probably finished exploring this island by now. Right, I've explored everywhere at least once for now. Damn right! You wanna meet up with everyone and discuss things? Mm, sure. Huh. Very small island, I guess. <laughs> It'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors, so I told everyone to meet up there. You tell me this like I didn't just fucking walk by there with you, you dumbass. Later. I'm heading up over there right now. Hurry up and come over. So let me know if you could left the area. You actually took the time to tell everyone about that, huh? Well, now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make the others wait. You should hurry over to the street with the food stands. Running, running my ass over here. There it is. All right, what's on the menu then? Not a lot of people left, huh? Where's Nagito though? Where the fuck is he? I don't think we... Did we tie him up again? I can't remember. I don't think we did. All right, looks like everyone's here. Well, no. Huh? What about Nagito? Huh? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is or what he's doing. Now then. So how did it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm. Not really. Like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. Not clear which information is believable, if any. However... Thank you for the hydrogen and the stretch. Oh, God. Ah. Drink that water. Mm. Oh, great heavens! <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Um, however, I believe there is no question that the future foundation is behind everything that's been going on. Well, thank you, Grandpa. Two! What's up, Metka? Welcome back. How's it going to pop and how you doing? Hopefully, not as cold as I am. <laughs> are we sure about that? Hmm? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not on our enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they'd trap us on this island. Well, yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey. I am as cold as you are? Shit. 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. Well, I hope you get warmed up. Get yourself a blanket, some clothes, and whatnot. Mm, get comfy. Get comfy. Two ponchos, goddamn. I feel like I could use an extra poncho or something. I got a. Uh, I got some sweatpants, some thick fucking socks. Got a. Got a couple of. Uh, I got some like shirts and and, and sweater and a, a robe. And I got. I'm wrapped up in a blanket. I got the the the, the blanket burrito setup going on. Vsauce, John here. Your house security is safe, or is it? No, please get out of my house! Get out of my house! Monomia works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by at this point. But even though Monokuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monomia has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending. They clearly hate each other. Yeah, but she was the one who put us here in the first place. Hm. It's possible that the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, you think she's our ally? <laughs> I am in the walls. Well, while you're there, can you like scrub them clean a little bit? I haven't cleaned the house in a, in a, in a while. At least not done a deep clean of the house, I guess. Even if they both oppose one another, is it not possible that they are both our enemy? Yes. A three-way battle, that's kinda hot. Shut the fuck up, Akane. Hey. My god. I'm the only one who's allowed to be horny here. Why, after all this time, are you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa! Are you talking like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn it. Can you get that dead rat out of here? It's between the kitchen and the laundry room. <laughs> oh my god. There's no rats here. I would fucking lose my shit if I saw a rat. I've ne there's never I've never seen a rat around here. Not not in my house, nor even in the immediate vicinity of it, and I don't think they could enter my house. I don't know where they would. Uh, it's just one of those things. Like, if if I saw a rat here, I would be. Well, first I'd be I'd be pissed, <laughs> and then I'd be paranoid because like you see a rat, you gotta assume that he came through somewhere. So then you gotta go around and find out where the goddamn rat is coming from, or how long he's been in the house. You know, you, you start to think about all that. I don't know, man. It'd be crazy. Don't be an idiot! I won't be no way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't... Settle down. Something is living in my roof. I hope it's just a squirrel. It's a demon. It's a demon. <laughs> it's John! It's John! John is in your roof! Oh, Lord. Guess what you saw to shut the fuck up! <laughs> yes! Yes, ma'am! There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Um... Well, well, I mean... Oh my! Miss Sonia, how could you possibly know so... be so sure about that? Well? It's simply a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of each other. Sounds like something a traitor would say. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Little too conven convenient for you, Miss Sonia. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we have endured together? That don't mean shit. <sighs> weak. How weak. Nagito? There he is. Man. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you are desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. My goodness. What has happened to you anyways? You need a smooch or something so you can calm your ass down, Nagito? You want to you want to eat slurp on some hot noodles? John is eating Remy. <laughs> but I cook me that good shit. <laughs> oh god damn it. Nagito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I wonder where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just keep running around in circles. What are you, hamsters? <laughs> if I compare you guys to hamsters, will I get yelled at by that weakling that who dropped out? Hey, 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 chill. Stop fucking fighting. He's already dead. You're still fighting him. That is. What is that? Now then. You asked where I've been this whole time, right? Well, well I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone? <sighs> I thought that person might have already arrived. But I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding in a secret location, carefully watching us. What are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone else on this island besides us? 
Oh no, the 17th student. <laughs> it's probably the survivor of the killing school life. What? Huh? What? How about it? If so, a lot of things might start adding up, don't you think? You're talking about Byakuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, right? What? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see. You guys have only reached that stage. You. What stage? You're not making sense at all? It's not making sense! Jeez. But still, if you think about it properly, you might be able to figure it out. Why would Byakuya, survivor of the killing school life, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Yeah, why would he? In indeed. That that's been that yeah. Right. Don't you think it's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. The issue is not wh what he means. Please take back what you said about Byakuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well. I've been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of Nagato we've been witness to. Huh. I don't like it either. Well, I never liked it in the first place. This is troubling. Hmm, looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can even comprehend my suffering. Well, Knowing the truth can be pretty painful in its own way. The truth? What truth? W what do you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? Yes. Verily. Why don't you... Why don't I tell you guys that after, that after we found out who the traitor is? God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! Huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. But it won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll eat out the traitor even if it costs me my life. What? You're going to eat out the traitor? Please wait. As I have already said, there's no traitor. Bloomin', can I have your bottle of hydrogen per peroxide? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you cannot. It's mine. Garlic bread. Oh, that is some good shit right there. Garlic bread is so good. He also says candy that looks exactly like silica gel, including the packaging. I would not. I would. Chat, do not take candy from Vsauce. From John Vsauce. Please. Do not eat his candy. It is not candy. It's actual silica gel. It's not what you think. Do not trust him. <laughs> He's the traitor. <laughs> He's the traitor, your majesty. Take him away. I'll bet in the end you're just gonna raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> You're a funny guy, Kazuchi. Why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, will I... This is exciting. Will I become the ultimate hope? Ultimate hope? You... What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn mind? Now then. I should get going. But if you see Monokuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. What? Huh? <laughs> Tell him not to worry because I'm planning to go all out. Besides, the next one will probably be the last. Oh shit. Is he finally gonna kill on his own? Could it be? Nagato, what does that mean? Bye now. Oh lord. Uh hmm. Do we have to prove when the blackened is the blackened? Or do we just need to point them out? We just need to vote for him, right? <laughs> Nagito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. Chicken juice. Chicken juice? <laughs> Chicken juice? It's clear to us that trying to stop him would just be useless. Hey, hey! I don't want to think about it, but could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding me? Who's gonna? Who's he gonna kill? Damn it! Based on how he was stalking, it looks like his target is a traitor. Please wait. No such person. I mean, the notion that one of us has been deceiving us all along. I will never ever believe that. Sonia said, "I cannot believe it either." I don't think any of us could do that. What if I'm the traitor? Oh. But. In the first game, the person who was the traitor knew that they were the traitor. Hmm. What if it is Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, in the first game, I'm pretty sure the person who was the traitor knew that they were the traitor. So, what if it's the traitor has forgotten that they're the traitor? Just like how I forgot that I don't have a talent? Uh. Or wouldn't be a very good traitor now, would we? 
Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he's planning to kill, right? That's right. And we gotta tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nekomar's not even here anymore. Who cares? It's, it's Nagito. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. Oh, Lord. Please don't be here. Huh? And that's a yes, right? Just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, we'll meet up again. Tie up Nagato, huh? That's what she was right. It's dangerous to let him wander freely. If we're being cautious, we have to act fast. I mean, I, st I we still, I gave him that 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 ball gag. <laughs> if he still has it, we may be able to like gag him so he can't even like bite someone to death. <laughs> Good lord. What's up, Duke boys? Welcome back. I was going to pop and I doing. What is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration of the final islands. I returned to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Indeed. <laughs> Very slowly turned the camera. Lord. How's everyone doing over here? What's the plan then? What's the plan? We're gonna bait him somewhere? I I believe there is no there is no traitor. Do you have a minute? No, that is not the issue. After all, it is impossible. Well? Why does Nagito not understand that? Furthermore, he even made an insulting remark about Gundam. Uh... Gundam gave his life so he could teach us something important. Um... At the time, Gundam scolded me for attempting to stop his execution, but looking back on it, he would forgive me with a smile on his face, right? Yeah, definitely. I... He never stay true to himself until the very end. I'll never forget that. What's up, Celestia? Welcome back. How's it going? It's popping. The only way to prevent someone from dying is to kill Nagato. Seems like it. I mean, tying him up should work. Surely he will not... I mean, he wasn't able to escape on his own last time. Yeah, I, I think it was... Was it Monomi? Yeah, I think it was Monomi that helped him, so... I don't know. Just, just, just tie him up and then... <laughs> sleep and have people sleep next to him so, so so Monomi can just sneak in and you know pull out the thing. Well, medication complications for girls who not have ADHD to medicine tomorrow. So, uh, National back order and portion medication is fun. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Hope it doesn't uh, affect you too too hard. You know, you'll pull through. I'm sure. Hope it won't be for too long. That's the issue, if we tie him up, Monomi will just release him again. No, we just stop Monomi from doing that, it's fine. We'll tie her up as well. <laughs> no, John, you are the traitors. I'll do that Nekomaru's share of that grunt work. Leave it to me. I'm pretty confident about my strength. As long as nobody grabs my tail, there won't be any problems. You have a tail? You. Obviously, I'm joking. Obviously. Lord, put that away. Don't be thinking stuff like if you want to see a tail like go and if you grab it, what? We'll get even more power. What? It's a terrible joke. It's even worse than a joke an old man would make. Lord Akane, please stop talking. Jeez. Goku reference? I think so, yeah. Been a while, but uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, this chapter has been all references. We've had a, a, a Death Note reference. Now that, and what was the other one? Forgot the other one, actually. Well, even her ignore Oh yeah, Jojo. How can I go see yesterday's VOD? Uh, if you go on the channel and you click on the thingamajig, like if you go on, on Twitch, because I haven't uploaded the, 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 the VODs of the past streams in a while, but if you, um, if you, if you have your stream open on your computer, the way to directly go to, uh, click on the name, like right below the, the stream, where you see my name, click on it, and it will uh, give you the tabs, uh, and the, the very first uh, on the list should be like recent broadcasts. Or you can click the part where it says videos, and then you'll get a full list of uh, the videos. Recent broadcasts, clips, highlights, and all that. And you can find it from there. Yeah, no problems. No problems? Yeah, no problems. <laughs> it's singular, that, that's how it goes. No problem, there we go. <laughs> Yo, welcome back, Metal. How's it going? What's poppin'? How you doing, dude? Morning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill no <laughs> more like I'm gonna kill my own career 
Good job, Justin. Good, good going, being a piece of shit. <laughs> good lord. Jeez, even her ignorance has a limit. What are you talking about? Huh? It's Sonia. She had the nerve to say she wanted to check out my body. What? At your body? Bastard! Don't think about weird things, you bastard! What else am I gonna think about? What the fuck? <laughs> Morning, I'm gonna shit my pants. <laughs> doing well? I'm doing good too, my man. Thank you for asking. It wasn't like that. I, I don't know where she heard it from, but... She came up to me and said, Real Yakuza are supposed to have tattoos, so show them to me. I, I mean... I guess that's... True? Right? That's what it was. Damn it! Not funny for her to tell me to strip right in front of her. Who does she think she is? Besides, tattoos aren't supposed to be gawked at. Okay, well... Surely tattoos is, are not gonna be the defining factor here. <laughs> Yakuza blush. Is Jackie playing the video games? He goddamn is. Hello. Hmm. Plan to capture Nagato, huh? Kinda look pretty confident, but is she really going to be alright? I mean, she's strong, but Nagato is, you know, unpredictable. You're right, but I don't know how else we're supposed to catch him. I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. If Nekomar was still here, would he let Akane go through with this? See? Actually, he'd probably get pumped up about her capturing Plan along with her. You know, he did capture him once before. Yep. Kazuchi helped him that time too. Feels like Kandama and Nekomaru are scolding us for not growing at all. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. You know what? Let's go stuff our face while they while they deal with that. Hmm. Are the pictures gone? It's the photos Mahiru took that Tyoko decorated. Where are the photos? <laughs> They're fucking gone, chat. They're fucking gone. Even after that trial? Working on it, working on it, working on it. That's all I'm gonna say. So everything started, somehow it feels like it's already been such a long time. Where did the... they want me to go? Do they want me to, to, to find Nagato? Is that what we're gonna win here? Yeah, no, we're gonna... I'm gonna try to make the snake again. Wait, we did do the snake already. Do we gain any... Okay. I don't know. Um... Wait, Nagato will be on the other side. Hello? Nagato? There you go. It's Nagato's cottage. What are you really thinking, Nagato? What are you planning to do? What? This is awkward. What do you want me to do, Chad? Is it free time? Not free time. Guess we'll go outside. It's already nighttime. It wouldn't be a good idea to start when I should go back. Oh. Oh, sleep EP, EP time. EP time. Nagato's gonna be in here. Look at all the monokumers. For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, since I walked around all day today, I was able to obtain several clues. Though, I'm not really certain you can even call these clues. Chat. I have a feeling there's space for another line of monokumas at the very top. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from more mysteries that don't make any sense. Ah, uh, this isn't good. As soon as that nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking about all these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should just get some sleep for today, rest my mind for a while, and then I'll give this more thought tomorrow. Oh shit, Monokuma. Yep, yeah, Monokuma Theater. <laughs> the words are extremely dangerous! Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with a razor or backspace. That's why I need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right, when I was being trained at the Safari Park. At the time, there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Sir Dietrich, and it was a fox named Cha Cha Jr. <laughs> Cha Cha? <laughs> to be honest, Cha Cha Jr. was really stupid. 
A female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he just stared at her boobs the whole time. My goodness. That's why Sir, Di uh, Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties. And that idiot would get real happy when exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. Oh. Also, this one time, three of us went to a steakhouse and the waiter asked, How would you like it cooked? Katja probably said, With fire. He's, he's very dummy. Sir Dietrich was probably was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Cha Cha Jr. He made Cha Cha Jr. abduct the phone and drown it. Then he saved that drowning phone himself. And he made Cha Cha Jr. tell everyone about it. I really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living a fun life in the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. <laughs> What'd you say, Monokuma? I accidentally said this to Chacha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day I stumbled across what was left of Dietrich's sir. He had been eaten. Good thing I immediately tattled him a male employee so he could put down Chacha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now I regret saying what I said back then. Squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. What a fucked up story. We should stop having these dreams. They're not good for our health. Ahem. Hope's good. Now then. Then they am, baby. Monokuma a snitch. <laughs> it's incredible that he's a bear. Should be a rat. We sure everyone's starting to meet up. For now, I should head over to a restaurant. This was just about the most what the fuck theater so far, yeah. Pretty much, pretty, pretty much. And they're usually already kind of weird, but that one takes the cake, I'd say. Oh man, we got so many coins to spend. Oh my god, my nose is so cold, chat. I went to the lobby by accident. Whoops. Oh, what the fuck? I was looking for a Monokuma because there's still a Monokuma on this island that I have not picked up on, apparently. Hey, wakey wakey. Jackie. Hey, Chiaki. I was sleeping. Yes, you were. Totally not sleeping. I was playing a game. I call it the sleeping game. You were sleeping while you were playing a game? There's always time for gaming. Doesn't make any sense. Well, you're not a gamer, Hajime. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The one of Wakey. <laughs> yeah. Maybe maybe she got a good version of Monokuma Theater, you know? Maybe she got an entertaining one. A little more tired than usual. Mm. Have you been out killing? Last night I had a weird dream that woke me up in the middle of the night, so maybe that's why. Okay, maybe she did have the same Monokuma dream. Weird dream? Well? It was a Monokuma puzzle game. Oh, she got a, puck, a puzzle game? All I get is weird stories. It was like one of those tile falling games where you make falling monokumas disappear by creating a chain. You mean Tetris? Mm. No matter how much I played, I just couldn't beat it and the monokumas just fell endlessly. Why did I have a dream like that? Well, we know a place where there's like tons of falling monokumas. Oh, well, it's probably because we saw that factory where those monokuma goods are made. Yeah, that could have been it. That could have been it. Bro, look at all that food. I'm so... God, I'm... Lord. Stop eating! It's my turn! How is she the only one I get to eat? Yo, Hajime, check out. I'm already eating. As per usual, you're eating... Your eating is out of... Uh, out of the place. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna st starve to death, Akane. Akane, please stop eating. We cannot... We, we need... F we also need food. Stop making us... F what is the difference? Put us back in the funhouse. Might as well have no food. Ham and cheese burger? God. Well, we might get locked in a place like the funhouse again. We might as well be there. I gotta eat when I can. Eat well. Shit well. Shut the f shit well. Why did the robot say shit well? Shut the. Oh my For god. Now. now that we've finished our breakfast, let's jump right into the main topic. I'm still eating here. Just got here. I haven't had a chance to eat anything yet. Okay, I'm pretty much done eating. Did you have anything to eat? 
You selfish little fucker. You know, right? And of course, the main topic is, why are they such assholes, man? Ah, Lord. Land captured Nagato that we're supposed to carry out today. It cannot be. Are you really going to do it? Of course, I spent all night coming up with this plan. <laughs> that means I haven't slept for two days straight. Don't you think my efforts should count for something? Oh, shit. What if Nagato shows up dead? It's gonna be the ultimate twist. Hey, bastard. We get it. Hurry up and spill that plan of yours already. Hmm. Well, I thought up several plans, but in the end, I figured that a straightforward plan would be the best. Uh. One of us will be the decoy who lures Nagato into the lobby by telling him we need to talk to him there. And then at the best possible moment, the two task force members will move in and swiftly capture Nagato. Right. That's the plan, what do you think? Um, <laughs> this bitch. Sees her in a sense where I'm pulled with it. I'm like, no, but now it's left. You. Uh, now I'll present to each of you your role. Of course. Since it's my plan, I'll take the role of commander. I won't let anyone object to that. Hey. Wow. But commander sounds like the most fun. Hey! Hey, did I just say I won't let anyone object? Right. Next, I'll present the two task force members. These big roles go to you, too. Fuyuhiko and Akane. Ah, um, uh, sure thing. <laughs> Is there food involved? <laughs> Jeez. I have no Good choice. Thing. You know, right? and the person burdened with the core of this plan, the, 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 the decoy who has to lure Nagato. Gee, I wonder. Chiaki? Uh-oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No way. Yeah, good idea. <gasps> What'd you say? So... It's not like I ever agreed to this plan. Hey, hey. It's gonna be fine. It's not like you're gonna tie him up. You're just gonna lure him. Well... There's no way I asked Miss Sonia to take on such a dangerous role, you know? You fucking simp asshole! What's up, Dark Knight? Welcome back, my man. How's it going? What's poppin'? How you doing? So please, I I'm begging you. No. Hey, hey. What a rude way to ask for help. If Mario was here, she would have beaten you up. You. I, I mean, y you did say earlier that you definitely cannot accept killing. <laughs> Isn't that right? I, I need your help to stop her killing. Hey. Even like that. D didn't I just say I'm begging you? <laughs> Why are you snapping at her all of a sudden? Yesterday was your birthday? Yo, happy birthday, Dark Knight. Can we get some, some birthday wishes here for Dark Knight? Happy birthday, my man. Happy birthday. Hope you had a, a good birthday. Hell yeah. Oh. All right. You gonna do it? Oh, this this is bad. This is wrong, chat. This is all wrong. 23 now. Now, <laughs> old ass. <laughs> but yeah, happy birthday. A birthday, the floodgates open. <laughs> the floodgates, oh lordy. You gonna do it? Alright, then this lineup is perfect. Sonia and I haven't, been, haven't even been given roles. What should we do? <laughs> Sonia has a role of princess. Okay, chat. Maybe Soda could die before Akane. Hey, double murders are allowed on the island. Doesn't make any fucking sense. For now. Hey, you're on chore duty. I want you to supply the rope we need to tie up Nagato. Denied! Whoa! What? Why? Because you're being a little simp. Listen. If Hajime has nothing to do anyway, he shall accompany me. Huh? Miss Sonia? No, like... He wants me to... She wants me to be a, a princess too? What? Like I said, he needs to apply the rope. You must not. This is not a request, this is an order. That is an order. An order, I tell you. There is somewhere I must go. Uh. He needs to take a shit. If Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. I'll leave that Good, repeat you. that. Damn it. Hajime and Miss Sonia are free, it's fine. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Object so forcefully. Where do you need to go, Sonia? Um, She'll tell you in due time. We'll be discovered if I speak too loudly. What did you You're say? gonna be alone with Hajime at a secret place? For now. Damn it. We'll, carry, we'll carry out the plan tonight. All of you make sure you prepare your bodies and minds. Eat shit, Soda. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't even care about Sonya, but fuck you, Soda. <laughs> Four Lords of Darkness? Y you mean... You mean Gundam? He's dead, dude. Well, the hamster survived, but th they're gone as well. Gundam is dead. Huh? Is our commander going to be okay? His energy seems to have dropped pretty drastically. <laughs> they're not with Sonya. Better not be, anyways. It's all dispersed for now. 
Uh, please come to the hotel lobby in 30 minutes. Sure thing. They're still here! They heard you say that! I thought it was supposed to be secret! After our planning meeting had ended, I quickly finished eating my breakfast. By the time I made it back to my cottage, it was already close to the time I agreed to meet Sonia. The, the Archonkers is gone. Armoy. What the fuck are you doing? I won't forgive you. You can't. Your your teacher can't allow this plan. Well, fucking suck my left nut. Shut up. No one's. Can we tie her up as well? Toss her in the pool or something. I think for once we could ask someone to come up for help and then just just get him like, hey, d d kill this bitch again, destroy her. Mr. Electric, Hajime, you are late. The fuck? Don't 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 get sassy with me. I'm here just in time. We're on time. I've come a little early. A little earlier. In my country, you are severely punished if you do not arrive 13 minutes before an arranged meeting time. Okay, weirdo. Who asked? Where, which country do you think you're on? But let's remember that, Chad, because I'm sure that will be very spe a very specific detail in the upcoming case. For such an early... Which means either she is gonna be dead or she's gonna do the killing. She's gonna die and they're gonna be like, she showed up exactly at this time, which is when she said she would. And then someone's gonna be, and then I'm gonna be like, wait, she said in her country, she's always early. 30 minutes, 13 minutes. For such an orderly country, 13 minutes is a pretty arbitrary rule. That is. See, this is culture shock. And I guess it can be overlooked. It's really plenty to go. Just have to come along, right? Uh, come along, right? Well? Of course. It is a place that pertains to this discovery we made yesterday. Oh, shit. Never walk out on the development plan? You should find something about it. Um. How should I say this? After reading this document over and over again, I suddenly realized the Future Foundation was planning to rebuild a facility on this island to use their headquarters. Talking about the large administrative building on the central island, right? Mr. Electric, send this motherfucker to the penis explosion chamber and have his penis exploded immediately! <laughs> oh god. I couldn't find a building like that anywhere. Maybe it says something about a different island? Replace with a robot? Oh lord, no more robot. Do you have a minute? What if their plan suddenly changed and they had to use a different facility? Different facility? Well? Was there another facility on this island inscribed with the symbol of the future foundation? Well yeah, but did you see the guns on that thing? Um As I recall, the ancient ruin on the second island had such a symbol on its door. Yeah, you're right, the Japanese word for future, Mirai, was inscribed there. If that's the case, that ruin might be connected to the Future Foundation, right? However, Discrepancies in the document are strange, but there is no doubt that a ruin uh, is quite suspicious. You're right. I completely forgot about it after being locked inside a funhouse, but the possibility that the ancient ruins connected to the Future Foundation is... Uh, future Foundation, rather, <laughs> is incredibly high. I knew there was something f strange about that place. I mean, it might still become a future funhouse, who knows? <laughs> it was... <laughs> oh, Lord. Sonia, after hearing all of this, I, I want to go there as much as you do. I'll definitely come with you. <laughs> I may not be competent, so... Please be patient with me. She's the traitor. She... <laughs> she is the traitor! Ah! Wait, what? Stop. You must help me, Anakin. I am too weak, too weak. Hello. Hey, hey. What exactly does Kazuichi do as a commander? Probably jerking off in his room. How should I know? Well, in games, commanders are usually flags. Flags? Um... If you defeat the commander, no matter how many of their units are left, you still secure a victory. Even damaging the commander is enough to decrease the opponent's morale. As far as plans go, um, it's a pretty standard tactic. Wonderful! That plan has my seal of approval. Continue to target the commander. You're totally missing who to fight! What's the point of targeting Kazuichi? 
Wait, wait a second. She's got a point. Um, um, you know what? You know what? Yes, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. You're right. What a shame. Shame. If Kazuchi heard that, his rapidly diminishing enthusiasm might plummet into the negatives. I don't know why, but I'm starting to feel sorry for that guy. I'm really not. <laughs> this guy... <laughs> Man, I swear to God, if there's one thing this game is not doing too well, it's making me feel bad for all the characters. Like, in the first game, I think the only character I did not feel bad at all was... 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 uh... The, what, what's his face? Oh, I forgot about it. <laughs> what was that fuck... motherfucker? <laughs> um... Oh my god, in my brain, I cannot remember. Well, it doesn't matter. Right no time for detours. Oh. The fatty. Yeah, that one. How could I forget? What? How could I forget it? We've been mentioning his goddamn name every single stream. Hold on, Chad. I'm. 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 Oh my god. The dementia is acting up. <laughs> oh my god. No, it's never not blooming. It's never not blooming. Stop. <laughs> oh, Hifumi. Yeah, that piece of shit. Um, was there a character that I did not care for in the first game other than Hifumi? I was gonna say Leon, but it's kind of unfair because, like, he was the first killer, so it's like... You know, hard to feel sorry for him. Didn't really get to spend too much time with him. Oh shit, she's already here. I see. The ancient ruins in the second line of the word Mirai or future was in front of the door. Discrepancy. Okay, she's just repeating herself like a parrot. Was Second Island, right? I have her forget. Okay, clean that up. So, if we fill up despair but not enough hope. If we fill up some despair but not enough hope, it turns into a snake or something? I don't know if- I don't know if I should be looking too deep into it. It's probably like, if you fill it up with hope, and no despair, it turns into... a uh, Monomi look-alike thing. And then... If you do literally anything else, it just turns into the snake. If you let it fill up with despair, it dies. I think that's what it is. But in this game, yeah, as I was saying, like, in this game, there's been a... There's been multiple characters that I do not give a shit about. I mean, Teru Teru, of course. And, and the thing is, like, the game does try to make you, like, feel bad for him, but I'm like... <laughs> I'm never gonna feel bad for Teru Teru. And Neko Maru was, was, like, just, just... I don't know. I, I didn't care for him. And him going in robot mode is, like, all over the place. Like, surely, sh surely th this game did jump the shark in a few situations. W and I don't say that as a bad thing, necessarily, because, I mean... Jesus, we have a, a, a talking plushy robot bear thing running the, 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 the things, right? So it, it, anything else that happens that, that's kind of crazy can be easily explained by, you know, it, it's just part of it. But it's like... I don't know. Went back to the robot, didn't care much for him. And, uh... This whole shtick just being... Hey, work out and take shit! Haha! -ha. <laughs> it's like, ah, oh, I don't care about that. Um... What else? What other characters? I don't know, Peko... Uh. Fuyuhiko, Fuyuhiko had the time to, to grow on me, but like, Peko, for example, she was just like, kind of silent for most of the time. And then eventually, the, the, the killing and, and the, like supposed to feel bad for him. Like, no, I don't. No, just go. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how many times I see this place? It certainly gives me the willies. However. Well, we should not dwell on that. After all, we are here to look for clues. On the other hand, you have Sonia, who's been here for so long, and I still don't care too much about her. All right, let's start. Um. <laughs> you first? <laughs> um. Morikuma claimed he once was human? That was a joke? Who knows? We don't know that for sure. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> well... Sonia's mid-tier? She kinda is. She's kinda bland, really. Like... Yeah... She, 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 she. Maybe it's another one of those... Maybe, maybe they really just want you to spend time with the characters if you want to know them better. 
for better or worse, I don't know. I, I can see the point, but it's like, eh, there, there, there'd definitely be better if, I don't know. I feel like in the first game, at least so far, uh, they did a better job of, uh, uh, you know, making you care a little bit more about all the characters, not just a few. In this one, there's definitely some characters I'm like, completely indifferent towards. And then there's motherfuckers like Soda, who started in there like, you know, Soda was uh, kind of alright. But I've become so annoyed with his whole antics of just being a big fucking simp. It's like, oh, okay, we get it, buddy. God, how annoying. It's not even like Hifumi disgusting, it's just annoying. <laughs> you know? There's no mistaking it, the Japanese word for future is crowded at the door. That being said, however, the, the whole ensemble here, the whole cast of them as a whole is still, uh... Still pretty, pretty fun, pretty good, I'd say. This facility, now that I've taken a better look at it, it, cannot be. it bears an uncanny resemblance to Hope's Week Academy. Why is that? Anyone die yet? Not yet, not yet. They even made you care for Mikuru Kusaba, the one they called the ultimate despair. Did they? Did they make me care for her? Because all I remember of that bitch was how she fucking took over the game for like an hour at the very end of the, the game, like on the last trial. And we had to put up with her fucking delusional sp speech. And somehow no one would was willing to stop her until she spoke for like a, a whole hour of dialogue or some... Oh my lord. That's all I remember. Oh, you're talking about the... the what? The same shit, Junk... Chunga... Same shit, Chunga. The same shit, Okay, well, that's that shows you how much I fucking care for Mukuru Ikuzaba. What, how did they make you care for Mukuru Ikuzaba? I don't care for just just fucking someone with never even unworn corpse. Yeah, I'm not gonna feel bad for a corpse. Are you crazy? Shows you how much they made me care for Mukuru Ikuzaba. I thought that I'd confuse her again as Junko. Nah, bro. Um, Alright. Sonia? You open the door, okay? If this is a real gun, this building... If this Is this building so important it requires this much security? God, I'm taking a closer look at it. The door locks are even stranger. Bro, building looks pretty run down and shabby. This all looks, it looks very high-tech. Future, huh? Well, what else do you want me to do about it? Now that I'm taking a closer look at it, the door looks even stranger. Okay. What? There we go. This liquid crystal display next to the door. Oh, God. Oh, there was. This wasn't here last time. That's probably it. This is probably the key. So we'll probably open if we input the correct, n correct numbers. I mean, there's... Might not be numbers. Are we sure it's a real number? There's curses for us all, but it would be dangerous to test it haphazardly. Well? If we make a mistake, it is possible that uh, we will be fired upon by that gun. I can think of no other reason for that gun to be there. As long as that's a possibility, it'd be bad if we acted recklessly. Well, you, you know. That is right, courage and recklessness are completely different. You were shot by at if you were shot at by a gun like that, you would have more holes in you than Beatrice's nest. You mean a bee's nest? Yeah. In my country, use the expression Beatrice's nest. Anyway, right now we definitely shouldn't test it out so recklessly. I see, I see. Miss Sonia, I have a proposal. Tell Soda to do it. Or to open his door, you must find a password first, or destroy the door with some kind of explosive force. Mm, that's impossible. The door looks extremely sturdy. It's definitely better if we find a password instead. Alright, all we have to do next is find out what that password is. Good thing we came here so we could at least find that out. You're right. I feel like this is something we could have found out long ago, but... Well... The problem is, where would you obtain that password? When we first came here, even Monokuma and Monomi said they didn't know the password. They really don't know it. Are we supposed to find out? Why are we believing them now? You know it's a mystery, huh? After finishing our investigation of the ancient ruins, Sonia and I decided to go back to our cottages for now. Free time? Still the middle of the day. Yeah! Here we go. Let me go gambling, baby! 
You guys ready for some Gamba? Right, they haven't uh, pulled out a fake free time on us yet. I think that would have been funny. They tell you free time and then you walk out of your room thinking, Hey, free time, baby! And then you just find a dead body in there. And you're like, whoops! <laughs> I don't know, but I feel like it would be funny twist. Too easy to pass up on. Maybe... Maybe too easy to go for. Perhaps, even. Who knows? Alright, I think we're gonna go for 50 points each pull still. We just gotta get a little, little tiny lucky. I mean, we got like 400 of those. Maybe we can risk a little more, a little extra. Let's give it a shot, baby. Right. Let's see. What's the next tier for the thing to grow? Oh. Oh. So 50 is the max. Yeah, 50 is the max, it seems. Right, give me the give me everything. Clackers. Lucky! Yeah, I better get lucky a lot. Another ball gag! <laughs> Two items out of 50 coins? I keep getting scammed, chat. This fucking game is scamming my ass so hard. Look, the repeat rate is zero. Wait, the repeat rate is zero? Why am I getting repeats? Sunglasses, now we're talking. We oh, there we go. A rabbit. No, no, no. <laughs> who, who put the bow tie on the on the lizard? <laughs> With the, the, the bow tie on him. We're getting some new shit though, dildo. Whatever that is. What's up, Simberside? Welcome back. I was going to pop it. How you doing? A bag of poop. That's it. I have all the coins, baby. You're gonna give me all the gifts you got. Give me the rarest one you got. What is that? Oh, come! Repeat rate 28! Oh, lordy! Should we do a 100 pull? Good lord. Go get you! Welcome to the stream! How's it going? It's popping. How you doing? How's it going? Chad, I'm gonna... I don't know if it's a waste. I feel like I wanna try a 100 pull. We probably shouldn't. There's no point, is there? It's only 5% repeat chance for 50. Do it! Animal Crossing item. <laughs> Alright, we'll go with 100. I mean, it's not like we're gonna need that many gifts anymore. Ah, cock ring. Tissues? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> A knife! Dog food. Little gun! Oh wow, we got a lot. Oh my god. Alright, I think we should keep going for a hundo. Yeah, we definitely should keep going for a hundo. Shoo! <laughs> How about all these gifts for characters that are already dead? Stop giving me shoes! <laughs> hey, some tea. Go for another hundo. A strange sniper rifle with goal of getting at least a thousand kills on it. And get good at sniper. One week of practice in it is only kind of fun. I want sniper to an endemic species on casual servers. Well, that's the thing. Like, playing sniper is super chill and fun. I really like it. And at the end of the day, think about it. Yeah, you're playing a class that if you get really good at it, you're able to delete most classes. Not even talking... Uh, you are able to delete all the classes with just one shot. It's just, it's just fun, really. And it's so, like, stress-free, usually. Unless you've got someone on the enemy team that really knows how to annoy snipers or deal with them. Because, uh, as, I, as I always say, you don't need a sniper to counter-snipe a sniper. Though it's a good way of dealing with them. But just knowing that if you put pressure on a sniper, he'll have the worst time of his life sniping. That's so much. That's so much. It means so much more than people think. Like, when I say, you know, hey... You know, Pyro, shoot some some flares at him. What the fuck is it? You know, shoot some shoot some flares at a sniper. 
Shoot literally anything towards a sniper, anything that, to make him like flinch or, or have to like move aside, etc. Anything is good. Or, you know, have a spy show up behind him and annoy a Karen. One should flint in their window? Oh yeah! Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Some of these gifts, I swear. Poi- no, what? It's not poison. Oh, one of these. I forgot what these are for. Right, we're gonna do all 86, I guess. Might as well go all out. We got so many already. Rosa Vitro. What, Fisher Price toy set for baby? Mr. Stapler? Love. Lube. Oh, that, that, that's it? That's it? That's all we get. Alright. Let's check really quick what we got. Check all the new stuff. Oh, mineral and water. Apparently I never got that. Hard tack of hope. Emergency ration that excels at maintaining its freshness. Like for what? For soldiers? Oh, wait a second. Click it open just so it uh, removes the marker. Oh, tater chips! We got tater chips now. A whole ass coconut. Passionate glasses. Glasses that let you see your passions as they blend with reality. I also have a function that lets you shoot your passion like a laser. Warning, this laser will come out of your ass. A ring made from the purest silver with a natural pink tourmaline set into it. Uh, if you need to get a present for someone you have no I and have no ideas, get them this. Well, I know what to give to Chiaki next time. Tips and Tips 2nd Edition. A thick book that has hints and codes for every game ever released. Well, I know what to give Chiaki next time. Men's Manma? A magazine for group moms that lists popular restaurants. Ow. Oh. Kiss Note. A notebook considered to be a good luck charm. The human whose name is written in this notebook shall kiss you. The human who uses this notebook will lose their heart forever. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe we got so many Terror Terror presents. <laughs> Nick Mullen's podcast? I don't get the reference. <laughs> just pester them with a shotgun? That also helps. Yeah, just, just pestering the snipers tends to... Like, even if they're really good, pestering them with a shotgun, you know, they're, they're gonna flinch. And, you know, it's gonna help. It's gonna help. Anything, everything helps. And of course, always remember, if there's a separate path that you can take to not have to cross the, the sniper sightline, then, you know, there you go. Things my aim varies from Stormtrooper aim to me getting 5 kills within 15 seconds. I mean, that's, that's just what it is, man. Even the best snipers fuck up tons of shots sometimes. It, it is what it is. I'm not the best sniper and sometimes I have games where I top score and, and people think that I'm cheating and then there's games where I cannot get a shot to save my life. That's just TF2 in general, I suppose. You know, those people who have like 10,000 hours, they're still not good at the game. No matter how many thousands of hours you get at TF2, you're still not the fucking best player. It's so annoying. It's part of it, I guess. The Black Rabbit Picture Book. It's a book for pulling various cons. The cover has a black rabbit on it to avoid attention. Apparently there's a white rabbit and a red rabbit version of this book as well. Yeah, because men might like it. Measuring Flask. A laboratory instrument with a feminine symbol on it. Organic synthesis is possible by combining this with the measuring flask? What? Lily Lienthal's wings. Model left behind by flight engineer Otto Lily Lienthal. It's filled with the dreams of the- Oh, that's what it is. Many sided dice set. Full set of dice consisting of D4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and D20. We have to celebrate the 30 year anniversary of the world famous tabletop RPG Mazes and Monsters. Ah, yes. <laughs> oh no, Power Gauntlet! <laughs> a video game controller shaped like a glove. Use your fingers to play games, but it is not compatible with modern game consoles. Diehard fans love how bad this thing is. Yeah, we know how bad a power glove is. We've been hearing about it all. <laughs> oh, the Ghost Zone is new. Black and white Sony used to play Go. Didn't we have one of these before? Why does it say it's new? 
Hmm. 10th Act Verse. Paper handkerchief used by upper class craftsmen. They keep it inside their pockets until they need to wipe their mouths. Iguana Daughter. <laughs> Iguana native to Jabrock Island, according to local legends, creature was a young maiden who was changed into this form through magic. Could be true. Kitchen knife is useless for cutting, as for a first rate cook will never use his knife. Despite its toxic appearance, this fruit bears a sweetness that will take you to heaven. However, they say that those who eat this fruit will be possessed by evil and fall to the dark side. Know a couple of people who could eat that. Carrot given by Monomi. It's been used so much that it's practically scraped clean. Huh? It's been used so much that's practically scraped clean? Huh? What do you mean? What do you mean by that? What? Well, let's leave the, the the carrot there. Let's not touch that anymore. Oh, proof of being the top breeder. Damn it, stinky. Oh shit! Wait, spoilers. There's three more items to get. Huh? Well, we know there's gonna be one more killing for sure. More chat, there's two more. <laughs> oh lord. The only thing you get out of 2000 hours in the game is Game Sense. Okay, but Game Sense is so goddamn good. Like how spies always go for the nearest health and ammo pack if they're clothing out of an engagement. I mean, yeah, that's one of those things. You know the one that I love the most about learning Game Sense? Is uh. characters movement speed. With knowing character, like, getting the game sense for, like, a character's movement speed or how long it takes for um, the players, the characters, to get from point A to point B or to get to a certain lo uh, location of the map after they respawn and, and things like that is so amazing. Remember, I, I don't know if you guys remember that one time that I got, like, this guy called me out as a cheater because I was playing Sniper. I was streaming myself playing Sniper, in fact. And... He thought I was cheating because I was able to perfectly predict when he was going to be behind me after I killed him the first time. I kill him the first time, and I immediately predict when he was going to be behind me by simply unscoping and looking behind me, which... Which is something that I recommend you do, especially if you know that the enemy team has a spy, you occasionally just check your back. Like, as someone who plays a lot of medic and heavy, you definitely build not only a game sense, but the sense to look for spies. Regardless of whether they're always there or not, you just you gotta look for them Because you know your prime target. So when I'm playing sniper kind of the same If I know that I'm be also because I do not play at all with the Razorback I do not like playing with the Razorback. I much prefer always having like a either piss or my SMG I don't care much for the Razorback um, So yeah, I turn around often if I if, you know if if I know that they have a spy and I did and uh, he got so mad that I predicted his ass coming back and being there after a few seconds that, uh, yeah, he <laughs> got accused of cheating. Razorback's only good against bad spies? I would say so, yeah. Like, you could, you can make the argument, and if Vic was here, he would definitely make that argument that, uh, if you have the Razorback, you would still have a, ch you still have a chance because Spy would have to pull out a gun and it would take about, what is it, three shots to kill you? Though the first shot is always free. And then you have two shots. Are you willing to test, like, here's the thing, if... The thing is, like, I much prefer an overconfident spy that pulls out his knife to deal with me. Because the spy pulling out his knife, I can... He's gonna try to trickstab me, maybe. But if he's within melee range, it is so much more likely. Because the knife cannot random crit. Unless... It's gonna crit if you get the backstab, but... You know, you wanna pull out your melee and deal with it. Or, if they pull out their melee, you back off from it, and you shoot them down with whatever. If they already pulled out their gun, like a, gu uh, a spy's revolver is pretty strong, more so than people think, and that's because mo a lot of spies in casual, like, they don't pull out their guns when... If you pull out a, a... you know, if they're smart enough, they're... and they notice that they cannot stab you immediately, like, you know, back off and pull out the gun, and yeah, you're likely to die. Spy's revolver is just that strong. 
It's gotta kill me cheese because I kept shooting him when he was running towards me in a straight line. That one is a fun one. They think that they're too fast. Can't catch me. Whoa! The ones that I really like getting on scouts is when they're like moving all over the place. And I just fucking jerk my, my crosshair all over the place. And I click and I get a shot. Well, not all over the place, but like... They're coming at me left and right and I just like do a, a quick fucking like jerk with the crosshair and I shoot and it hits them. They fucking hate that. <laughs> well, usually it's more like it's a... it's a pr Like, how should I say? Like a, an attempt at predicting... Um, where they're gonna land, but due to how the game works... Sometimes it's just like you land the shot and you can barely tell the frame where it happened. Anyways, they're all at the hotel. Let's go back to the hotel. Diamond back on a comp competent spy is just game over. I mean, if you can land your shots, the diamond back is nasty. It's nutty. I mean, it's. Is it a straight upgrade to the. Well, what's the downside of the. of the diamond back chat? Is it that it shoots slower, or it has, like, less bullets per clip? What is it? Because I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think what exactly... Does it do less damage, maybe, on, on normal shots? No random crits. Yeah, but it can't just be the no random crits, right? Wait, where the fuck? Oh, right, down there. Let's see, how close are we to, uh... Is it, are we missing just one with Chiaki? Yes, we are. Who are we going for afterwards? C certainly not Mikan. <laughs> She's a bit too dead. Oh, uh, this is, uh... Kind of sad. It seems that I managed to spend a lot of time with characters that just die. <laughs> Mahiro I went once. It was like the first person who... No, was it the first? No, no, the first was Gundam. Then Mikan. Um, who are we gonna go with after this? Boss Baby, perhaps? Because I do not care for Sonya. Soda is annoying. Don't give two shits about Akane. Could go with Nagito, but I doubt that they're gonna let me go out with him during this part of the game. Not only that, I seem to be unable to build up thing with him. Oh shit, he's a robot! I don't know. Yeah, I think Fuyu Hiko. Yeah. But for now... Hey, Chiaki. Hey, hey. Remember when Elon Musk showed a video of his bedside table? It's just, just a bunch of kids that are cooking a replica Diamondback revolver. <laughs> was it a replica of the Diamondback revolver? Oh, it's a... There was a okay. So that's why... Because I remember seeing that picture, but I never... Assumed that it was a Diamondback revolver. Are you sure it's from the Deus Ex? I thought it was, um... I thought it was something from, like... What the fuck? Let me pull up that picture again. Was it the, the one from Deus Ex? Yeah, I remember the flintlock. I remember the flintlock, but hold on. Let me take a look at that picture. Let me look it up really quick. Oh, yeah, you're right. You know, I, I, I didn't even piece it together. Maybe I was... Okay, to be fair, I, I may have been just so distracted by the fact that he keeps a fucking flintlock and just cans of Diet Coke. And worse than that, if you look at the picture, chat, there there are rings ring stains on the table. Like, this man does not respect wood. And I don't even know... I mean, this he doesn't use coasters, chat. He doesn't use coasters! What kind of... How can you trust th this type of person? That does not respect his bedside table. Does not respect wood. Look at all the... <laughs> look at all the ring stains. Disgusting. Ew. Ew, ew. Sugar-free Diet Coke. Ew. <laughs> Part of the promo for Human Revolution. You know what? You know... Okay, uh, well, I never finished the original Deus Ex. I don't know if you guys have played Human Revolution. Maybe you ha you have. Uh, is, is it worth playing? And I'm assuming that one you can get into without having played the original Deus Ex, right? Because I, I have Human Revolution. It always looked interesting, and I, I, I am a fan of cyberpunk-related media and, and whatnot. 
It's alright. Yes. This X series is really fun. I just I couldn't finish the first one. I, I can't remember why, but I think I just got bored after a few. I don't know if I got bored is the thing. I think the last time I did it was like maybe a year or two ago on stream. And I was playing uh, Deus Ex Revision, which if... Is it Revision? You know, the, the one fan project that they have um, where they just like upscale and improve the game in general and fix a lot of bugs and whatnot. Besides Invisible Water, the games are great. You can pull off some cheese in Revolution? Yeah, maybe, but you know. Maybe I should just get Cyberpunk and go with that as well, someday. I'll I'll just wait for a bigger discount. Like I, I like the idea of that of of Cyberpunk 2077, but uh, I don't know. I'm not in a rush to play it. I guess. Deus Ex One is now a real life Cyberpunk Millionaire CEO is creating a high in global pandemic. Well, we just need the augments. We just need the augments. We need the augmented agents out there. Anyway, Sony is no good, but I'm okay. What's that supposed to mean? Should I do? Should I hang out with Chiaki? Absolutely. Yep. Right. I'm gonna get the 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 thing. Well. It's gonna play some games till ready to execute plan. Want to play with me? Yeah. Let's play some video game. A video game of gamers. Spend time today playing games with Chiaki. You just respect wood, Bloomin. I I respect wood. I respect wood so much. Looks like Chiaki and I grew a little closer. Alright. Well, so here's the thing. Which one do we give her? I have the tips and tips, which according to this it says it must have for any true gaming fanatic. She would love that. But I also have the power glove. Oh, the power glove is right next to the toy camera. Maybe that means this one is even better to give, right? I mean, I'm sure she's gonna love both of them. I'm just thinking because, like, the toy camera, remember, I wanted to give this to my hero, but the game was like, no, 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 another time. Then again, we got three of them, so maybe it's not that rare. I don't know, why did the game tell me I couldn't give this to my hero? That, isn't that so weird? Hmm. I don't know what that was all about. Well. New nanomachine vac vaccines allow you to use shades in the middle of the night. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, how does... Okay, are nanomachine vaccines a thing? But, but, but more than that... <laughs> the first... <laughs> Wait, shades in the middle of... What is the point of that? And almost people would get augmentation since, you know, removing your limbs and organs is a big deal. It definitely is. There was X1 reference. Oh, that's completely lost on me. <laughs> I guess that is the thing. They do use it in the middle of the night. I'll get augmented, probably not Gen 1 augments though. Yeah, no, if I'm... I'm, I'm gonna wait until my, I'm an old bitch, if I even make it to, to, to old bitch age. And then I'll get augments. And then you guys will have to put up with me for, for a couple more hundred years, if we get to that point. Imagine, having to be bored by my streams for 200 years? Fuck you, inject nanomachines in your bloodstream. Hey, stop that! I didn't consent! Stop injecting nanomachines in my bloodstream, son. Imagine. Oh no, that means you also have to put up with like 50 seasons of Rick and Morty. Justin Roiland is gonna build up some, put on some, some, some augmentations. So he can at some point come back to the series. <laughs> oh no, High on Life Tandra's released. <laughs> oh god. Upload myself to a new body. Wouldn't that be interesting? Reaching that point. I know, you know... There's a lot of talk about shit like that and how it's, oh, it's unethical, or not religious. It's like, I would like for there to be some actual proper research into shit like that because it sounds so outlandish, but it sounds like something that if you, I don't know, the limits of the human body and human nature, I don't know, let, let, let people fucking study that shit. S stop like, oh... <laughs> Unethical, take a person from body to put it in another body. I don't know. That That's just like one thing. Who knows how far you could go? Won't know until you try, right? I just think it would could be something interesting. Imagine the po the possibilities. I will become Shinchi. <laughs> yeah, Shinobi. <laughs> Imagine. 
Shinoli, if that were real, that means you could switch bodies more than once, even. You could... You could totally save up, like, a like a file that had, like, Alex Jones' body. You could have, like, an army of Alex Jones. <laughs> now, why would you want an army of them? I don't know, but... I just think... I just think it would be extremely funny for there to be two of them. <laughs> Maybe even in the same room. <laughs> I don't know, it would be so goofy. Borderlands-type respawn capabilities would be cool. Yeah, exactly. Something like that. Oh, great. Blumen is playing mannequin and orangutan body. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Chat, next subathon goal. Play TF2 in the body of a little monkey. <laughs> He's using his legs to do trick shots. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, we're all filled with good ideas, Chat. And yeah, no one shows up saying... Hey, I'm a, I am a big scientist from the science company. I want to put your I, science ideas to use. You and your chat, come with me right now. I'm gonna write it all down and, and you know, make science. Well? How did you know I wanted that? Oh, you're a gamer? I'm totally surprised I don't expect you to have such an awesome secret ability. Thanks. Thank you, you've made me really happy. Um... Wait. Oh, no. Chad, I just remembered what we get for maxing out relationship with them. Don't hate me for it, chat. It's the game, not me. Blame the game, not the gamer. Isn't that how it goes? There's somewhere I want to go with you today. Is that okay? Yeah, of course, anywhere is fine. It's the first time Chiaki has picked a place for herself. My heart is starting to race. Okay, settle down, Hajime. Jesus. My man, this <laughs> gamer sex, no. <laughs> Chiaki took me to the beach. Wait. Oh, no. Oh, this beach. Okay. She's looking around for some reason. Hey, why'd you pick the beach after all this? She wants to gamble? Do you want to swim or something? Mm. In those types of games, usually, you put lotion... Hate sand. Oh. Uh. Oh. What is that? Did you make the live blooming reaction of the mode? Oh my god. <laughs> Shinoli. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. I cannot with this. I cannot. <laughs> Oh my fucking god, you made the life God, Jesus Christ almighty. Oh no. The gamers are getting a treat today. Chat. <laughs> I don't want to put lotion on her back. What the fuck? Better be a fake out. She better just uh, straight up say that she wants to gamble on the tree. And then you... It's just a video game. And then you touch me in a weird place and I'd yell at you. It's a standard tactic. Okay, so we're not doing that, is what you mean. Huh? Which reminds me, where do you think the legendary tree is growing? Legendary what? What do you... Chill, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna pay Minecraft. I love building brown bricks with Minecraft. What kind of game are you talking about now? Well... She'll give you three choices for what we're going to do from now on. Please select from the following three. Is this a new game of hers or something? I opened a piece of paper Chiaki gave me. I really have to choose? <laughs> Chat, I don't know if it- Oh lord. Hug Chiaki. Hop- <laughs> Happy happy joy joy. We're celebrating the ocean. What? Hug is the most normal. Because like celebrating the ocean, Lord Almighty, happy, happy, joy, joy, I'm scared of. I don't know if I should go for the most outlet. This might be a fake, a fake out. Hug is if you're a. Bit <laughs> Two or three. Oh Lord. It's like you just. It, it's ba It's it's gotta be bait. Safe scum. But I don't want to see all three. In fact, I I wish I didn't have to see any of them. 
God. <laughs> happy, happy, joy, joy. Celebrating the <laughs> safe scum all three. Happy, happy, joy, joy? What does this even mean? Mm. I don't really know either, but it's probably something like this. Suddenly, Chiaki started running. Catch me if you can! Is he running across the beach? I had no choice, so I chased after her. After chasing her around for a little bit, we felt really tired and sat down on the beach. Jackie, what in the world are we doing? <sighs> I was thinking about overcoming the genre I'm bad at. Bad at? Oh, now I remember. The other day you mentioned that there were games you're not good at. Apparently, my father also wasn't good at things like this. Well, this is, this is the most difficult, after all. Let's see, so this is what it feels like. Why do you feel convinced by yourself? Hey, hey. Just now, that was a date, right? Sure? I think those are usually a little different. I still don't understand what she meant when she said she's not good at this type, uh, this genre. It probably means dating sims. <laughs> Just spending time with you, I realized some for the first time. A lot of things I still don't understand. For example... I know how babies are made. Good, <laughs> Good for you. Clap. <laughs> but I don't really know how to fall in love with someone. <laughs> that sort of thing. <laughs> Why would you use that as an example? What happened? Your face is red. It... <laughs> Nothing happened. Yep. Just as I thought, there's still a bunch of stuff I don't know anything about. I want to know more about lots of things. Because if I do, I'll be able to understand much more, I think. Well? Coxan. <laughs> so can you keep teaching me, Hajime? No, oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> Cock sand! <laughs> yeah, of course. But in order to do that, <laughs> we need to hurry up and get off this island. Don't ever forget about me. Even I, I can get out of here. <laughs> and holding scene. <laughs> uh, I don't know why Chiaki said, would say something like that, but there's no denying that sh the strong bond I feel between Chiaki and myself. I will definitely get out of here and take Chiaki to a lot of different places. She's so dead. Okay. Cheat code. Hey. Oh my god, no! Ah, oh god! Ah! <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Are you winning? I don't feel like I'm winning. What do you mean, Bloomin? What the fuck? I didn't choose. I <laughs> literal bird. That's on Hajime, not me. Oh my god! All right, listen. Let's see what the other ones are. Oh, except then in a different order. Huh. Chat, what do you want about? Nothing happened. How to get max friendship with Soda? Get max friendship with Sony, get under garments, give it to Soda, get level 6. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, he would be that type. Oh god. Alright, let's see the ocean. Celebrating the ocean? I don't even know what this means. Oh. Actual pervert. What? Enjoy your last stream. I'm bringing you in for false imprisonment of that poor defenseless gamer. What do you mean? You are just like Justin Roiland. But we'll start E high on life and enjoy it. We're starting high? <laughs> Thank you for the bitch, Noli. Okay, chat. I think happy, happy, joy, joy is the actual. Then I hug Chucky. Just kidding. You were? I'm glad you were just kidding. <laughs> All the flags in the story would be lowered and the affection meter would drastically decrease. Alright, well, turns out we picked right right away. Now we can just skip. Yeah, apparently there was only one right option. Which is the Did she did she release hearts last time as well? Don't ever forget about me. Did I not notice that last time? Even after you Maybe I was looking at chat when that happened. 
You gotta assume she did, right? Yeah. Oh, not a. <laughs> skip, 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 skip. Like five different photos of people removing their pickle Rick tattoos. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's happening just like the fucking. <laughs> Just like the fucking Rip Brian when Brian died in Family Guy. <laughs> Imagine having a Rick and Morty tattoo. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Pervert. Enjoy your last stream. I'm having deja vu. I'm you in for false imprisonment of that poor defenseless gamer. You are just like Justin Roy. I am not. But worse high on life enjoy. I do not listen. We don't we have a stream high on life since. Shinoli, you gifted me that game. You gave Justin Roiland money. You gave him money. You funded Justin Roiland's ventures into the world of crime. What is wrong with you? <laughs> it's because you collected a pen. I, I, listen. <laughs> you funded Justin. You're you're going to hell for funding a, a criminal. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> you gave Justin money. I'm not snitching. That's what happened. It was my hand. <laughs> Your hand reached over to Justin. You you gave him. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Looks like I have some free time. What happens if you go with them again? D does anything new happen? Do they Can you even do it? Stop shitting. Um. <laughs> Chiaki's favorite panties. The cute 8 bit pixel pattern is both retro and modern. <laughs> Jesus. Nothing really? Alright, fair. One of the creatures lives in a hipster bugger joint, consuming nothing but craft beers. Oh my god. Gotta <laughs> remove the pickle ring tattoo on my cock! <laughs> What's wrong with this pro protagonist? Yeah, I really don't know. Oof, glad I'm not him. Um, let's see. Alright, Fuyuhiko it is. Is that him over there? Yes, it is. Damn, first date in his room? This is gonna be awkward. Hey, boss baby. Ting dong. Come in. Ooh, ooh. Sniff the panties for bravery. Excuse me? What the fuck is that? Is that potato chips? What is that in the back? Why am I not allowed to look at it? Are those potato... Bags of potato... Okay. H hello. We're capping nugget... Oh, fuck, wait a second. I don't know what to give him. What do you like? Fried dough cookies? Does likes milk? Are we sure we want to date him? The fuck? <laughs> Fried dough... Uh, I guess he wants food? <laughs> Please give him the panties. I'm not giving him the panties! <clears throat> Wanted to give him a book? Oh, there is a book. Date Sonia? No! She's so boring. Five foot one? He's almost my height, chat. I'm like... Five foot... What was it? Like five... Five five? Five foot five? <laughs> Something like that. You can't just snip- I'm not sniffing the pennies! The game did it! I didn't do it! Chat, you don't understand how games work. Video games. B video games. We're capturing Nagato tonight, huh? Should try to calm down and persevere my energy. Uh, yeah, bro. Huh. I don't mind, it's not too bad. Uh, no, actually, it's pretty fun. What would it be like if you try to, like... Maybe the game doesn't let you date him. Before the, the whole Peko thing goes, all, goes over. Oh my god, what if you date Peko right away, like from the start of the game? Then you get her panties and then you give them to Fuyuhi. <laughs> Hey, have some more trauma. I talked to Fuyuko about random things over drinks. Drinks? 
What the fuck? What are you drinking? Some Kool-Aid? You're not old enough to drink, right? Was that for you, Hiko? And I grew a little closer. All right, what do we give him? Max friendship right away. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm all out of coconut juice. He likes snacks, it seems. Am I out of snack? No, no, we got, we got, um... Emergency ration? No, no, no. Potato chips. If he likes fried shit... Hey, potato chips. There it is. You're giving that to me? Damn right. I guess I'll take it off your hands for now. I don't think he liked it that much. Well, we're getting more di dialogue, so I guess it don't matter, right? Let me, let me double check. So I'm guessing the way it works... Oh shit, we didn't get it. Well, we didn't get it yet. But I'm guessing the way it works is... You give them anything they enjoy. And it fills up. But for the very last one, it has to be something they really like. That's my guess. How's that one on your stomach going? Doing? It's fine, nothing to worry about. How'd you say that? You must have a normally strong willpower to actually slice open your own stomach like that. Or you're fucking stupid. Then again, you are the ultimate Yakuza. <laughs> Have you because of blood flowing in my veins? There's nothing wrong about that. No, oh, nothing strong about that. You know, I did some thinking about this when I was in the hospital. Like, maybe this is all a dream. No, 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 a simulation. A dream, huh? How great would that be? Sorry, obviously, you'd be thinking about that more than I would. Well, it's not true. I've seen plenty of people die until now. And as long as I'm burdened with the Kazuryu name, I'll always be dealing with the mountain of bodies. Jeez. Uh, you guys aren't like me. It's a sick joke to see students who live honest lives bumping each other off like this. Yeah, there's always known violence and death. But he's used to it. Huh. Scared to talk to me? Huh? Jeez. No need to hide it. I'm used to being treated with caution by everyone. Hey. The world's a barbaric place, especially my world. Yeah, the kindergarten world. Everyone I know tries to settle things with violence. Just like in kindergarten. You guys have different values than I do. <laughs> my old man likes to say, predators are always stronger together than their prey. He's a hothead. <laughs> Even if it's just a minor argument, he'll come at you with everything he's got. And when him and my mom fight, she seriously tries to kill him. Oh, that's that that sounds like a great place to live in. Did Twitch update their UI or something? Uh, when? What, what are you noticing different? <laughs> I can't skip the sniffing scene. There's no sniffing scene! <laughs> Wait, what, what was the... Being a Yakuza means you can't even kill the man you love to get the, your point across. Sound like being a Yakuza is a bit shitty, Chad, if that's the case. <laughs> I've been hearing stuff like this since before I was old enough to understand what's going around me. I mean, the old center has like a Highland Mesa have different icons? Do they? Let me, let me check that out. Is that so? Where is it? It's still the same for me. Maybe you just notice, uh, maybe you're noticing, like, different colors, because, you know, the streamers independently select the colors to have in the background for those icons. So maybe, you're, like, you're seeing the correct icon, but you might be seeing, like, a different color, so it's mixing with your brain. Uh, that might be it. Because at least for me, they're still the same. <laughs> but maybe mine just hasn't updated. It's pretty outrageous home life. The worlds bo we both live in could not be more different. Like... There are a few times where I nearly got killed in the aftermath of my parents' fights. Jesus! Oh my god. <laughs> that's not... That's not good. <laughs> Pekka. Whenever something like that happened, Pekka was always there by my side. Wait, who? <laughs> I'm sorry, I made you remember something painful. Huh? Well, you don't need to apologize for that, you strange bastard. Strange bastard? I'm gonna walk out, I swear to god. No more potato chips for you, dumbass. But still, I'm the rightful successor of the Kazuryu clan. I don't get overwhelmed so easily. <laughs> By the time I was in the second grade, I didn't cry even if I lost a fight. You, you lost fights in second grade? What are you, a baby? Uh, I see. Good for you. Hey, bastard. Good for me. Don't treat me like a kid. Imagine losing fights in second grade, chat. That, that's like easy mode. Just beat up some second graders. What are they gonna do? Just <laughs> punt them in the face of them. I don't know what else to say to him. Anyway, it's not much, uh, but I'm starting to get him to know Fuyuhiko a little better. Okay, good for you. I'm starting to Fuyuhiko about some other things. I parted the ways with him and returned to my room. Well.
Time to tie up Nagito and go on a date with him. In no particular order. Looks like it's starting to get dark. Oh! Is someone here? Oh, it's Nagato, isn't it? Instinctively, my entire body tensed up. Okay, so it's not Nagato. I knew it was probably someone like Sony or maybe Kazuchi, but regardless, I was nervous. Not that I can help it, I mean, so much has happened since we arrived at the islands. I love Majima from Danganronpa. <laughs> Going to second grade as an adult and losing the fight? Yeah, imagine! Nobody would ask what you're doing because you're 5'1? Yeah, you could fit in so nicely. No one's gonna, no, no one's, like, no one's gonna ask, what, what is this tiny person doing here? Like, more like, no, th th you, you disguise yourself so well, you could pass, I imagine playing, <laughs> it's like a Hitman game, what, what if you have a Hitman game that's happening in a little, little baby school, little baby Hitman, yeah, you <laughs> oh god, hello there, oh, never mind, well, that was easy. Thank you for coming. How's it going? Nagito. Why is he here? What are you complaining about? Easy. He's here. We didn't have to track him down or anything. <laughs> Nagito, can we kiss? Hey, bro. Tell you what. Um. What are you doing here? You sure ask weird questions. Yeah, Hajime. Jesus Christ. At least try to seem less suspicious. Good lord. That's not it. I mean, you... You guys all have business with me, right? Huh? Well... Chucky invited me to the lobby. She said she had something she wanted to talk to me about. Everyone put her up to that, right? It's like... I mean, yeah, of course. I found out about our plan. <laughs> it's not like it was a good plan in the first place! Please come here, talk to us! Please come here, talk to me! Like, literally no one gets along well enough with him to be like, Hey, come meet me in private or something. It's like... <laughs> what were you thinking? Looks like that's a bingo, huh? A bingo. <laughs> but it's a good timing. Uh, I have some business with you guys too. You do? Everyone's already at the lobby, that saves me a lot of trouble. Okay. And I want you to come to the lobby too, even though you're not directly involved with the plan. But you even know that. I see. Just as I thought, you're left out, huh? That's understandable. Right? Because you're the only one who isn't an ultimate, you've basically been left out from the start. Now, now. I'm only joking. Don't make such a scary face. Your joke isn't funny. Bro, Hajime. <laughs> Good lord, lighten up. <laughs> you shouldn't take me so seriously. See? Well, anyway, let's hurry over to the lobby. I don't know the, de the details of your plan, so I'm actually looking forward to it. I wonder what you guys are going to do to me. <laughs> when we first arrived at this island, we were friends who explored this place together, so let's go already. Fine, let's go. Yep. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but as long as you capture him, we'll have the advantage. I missed the other one. I missed the other one! Um, I won't let him do as he pleases anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Everyone's such a little baby about him. <laughs> They're so whiny about, uh, about Nagato. Good lord. Chiaki has summoned Nagito and the plan has already started. Yuhiko and Akane should be waiting inside for Nagito. Jeez. What happened, Ajime? Why are you so nervous? What are you so nervous about? I'm not nervous. <laughs> you're a terrible actor. Well, if you're going to slow down like that, I'll go inside first. <laughs> it's a surprise birthday party. As I hesitated in front of the door, Nagito walked past me and entered the hotel lobby. And that's when it happened. Yeah, go, calm down. Um, what are you doing? <laughs> Don't judge us for this, but we're gonna tie you up. Again! <laughs> tie me up. Oh shit, he's gonna go fucking the ultimate Saiyan or some shit. There's no use struggling! But I'm not struggling. <laughs> what, what the hell? You're being strangely cooperative. Why did they say that? He's been practically cooperative every time. He wasn't even the one to escape the first time. <laughs> He's been mostly cooperative. <laughs> what is the. What is, Who cares? Just tie Oh him up my god. <laughs> I feel so. It's like a clown you show guys going are on here. Really disappointing. How long are you going to continue behaving so short sightedly? 
You gotta look at the big picture, you know? It's like, how could you not relate to him when everyone acts like so hot-headed? Huh? <laughs> what are you talking about? It's fine if you don't understand. You can just see the end without knowing. Well, I mean, okay, just tie him up and don't gag him then. Now then, let's begin. The beginning of the end of Jabberwock Island. What? That's when it happened. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw a bright light. What the fuck do you do? Do you strap a bomb to your chest or something? Holy shit! Well, Soda's dead. I think. An explosion of darkness overtook me and I was unable to see anything. I lost consciousness. Shortly after the impact, I managed to open my eyes slightly. Oh my god! What's going on? There's no way you survived that. Are the words that left as the... Uh, the words that but they vanished before they even reach, reach my ears. You said bomb? Yeah, but I, me saying bomb doesn't spawn a bomb, I just... <laughs> I thought he was gonna like... <laughs> pull out a... like a... I don't know. I thought he, he was gonna... beginning... Of, I thought like he, he did something to like the bomb in the central area maybe. Or that he had a bomb with him. Not that he planted a bomb. You're drowned out by the sound of terrifying laughter. I looked up and saw the source of that laughter. Gee, I wonder who would... Yeah. <laughs> you're a little cuckoo bananas up in here. It's amazing! These amazing fireworks surely befit the beginning of the end! Okay, so they're just... They're setting up that they're fireworks, so... So Soda's still alive? It's over. This is the end. The killings are done for good. I see. Scapegoating the weak in the name of justice, while fearing when the others will stab you in the back. This game of self-righteous hypocrisy ends now. Good lord. And to do that, I will destroy Jabberwock Island. It's a big island. How do you... Wh what do you mean? That was just a little demonstration. That's why it's the beginning of the end. I mean, you should probably go all out if you intend to really go through with that. The actual bomb I'm going to use isn't nearly as weak. I mean, it just sounds like a bad plan if you just... Like, now we can actually tie him up. Oh. I've set up a large number of bombs in a certain oh area my God. of the island. If all those bombs explode... <laughs> oh my God. The force will be enough to wipe out this entire Terrorist island. Nagato. Well, that's a twist. <laughs> what the hell are you saying? If you do that, wait, how did he manage to fabricate so many bombs that he could actually take out a whole ass island? Of course, I doubt we'll walk away from this unharmed. But there's no other way. <laughs> Chap, on his way here, we, we haven't seen him, but on his way here, the finale. he bombed a coughing baby. There was a coughing baby out in the island somewhere. That was the extra student, and he bombed it already. Is this bastard serious? Oh, Soda's still alive. Nagito, I'm actually disappointed that he's that? still alive. Uh, are you crazy or something? <laughs> Coughing baby versus crazy ass Nagito. No, that's not it. I'm not the crazy one here. I made a bomb the out of toilet really cleaner and panty is... sweat. It's elemental chemistry, really. <laughs> wah, wah? My, my, this guy. I'M TOTALLY SHOCKED! It's not really, uh, seriously, I'm totally shocked, that's all I can say about this turn of events! <laughs> two days? If you really want to set up, uh, blow up the- wait, why two days? Mm. Very convenient. The bombs I set are timed, they're set to go off in two days at noon. I've prepared so many powerful bombs that just- The one that just exploded doesn't even compare. According to my calculations, they're powerful enough to blow up an entire island! Which means in two days at noon, this island is destined to sink into the sea. Are you serious? Wow. You really think I'd go this far for a joke? You. <laughs> what did you set him up? <laughs> I can't tell you. How about it? It'd be easy to leave you on your own, but it just wouldn't be fair if I did that. How about this? If the traitor comes forward and reveals their identity to me, I'll tell them where I hid the bombs. Huh? What is going on? Is everyone all right? Hey. Come on, come on, don't get in the way. Nagato was in the middle of weeding out the traitor. Nagato, what are you planning to do? Do I really have to say it? 
It's no use. I mean, the traitor shouldn't be able to reveal their identity on their own. Ah, so the traitor did lose their memories of being the traitor as well. Interesting. Why? Ooh, what does that mean? Hmm. Do I really have to say it? Ba -bum, ba -bum. You guys are surely eyeing each other and letting sparks fly. I'm getting all hot and bothered. Don't just stand there. Why don't you stop him? Huh? Stop him? Why do I have to stop him? The rules, remember? The same black and can only kill a maximum of two people. If he blows up the entire island, that's going to kill way more than just two people. Hmm, I still didn't sure have good memory. Nah. Well, like you said, if any student breaks that rule, I have to punish them severely. Right. That's only when someone breaks that rule, right? Smart ass. Smart ass. You can't punish someone for breaking a rule before they're broken, right? That's right. Yeah. Saying you're gonna break the rules isn't against the rules. Too bad. So right now, there's no way I can punish this. Yeah, Hajime, don't don't get all fucking minority report on on, on his ass. Come on, that, let's be fair about this. Let's be fair. You're so stupid. Punishment always happens afterward, not before. That's just the rules of society, right? He's got a point, chat. He's got a point. Hey. But even so, there's no need to worry about that in the first place. As long as the traitor comes forward, this can all be resolved peacefully. This is exciting. It'll all be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. After all the time we spent together, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. But it's definitely going to be all right. I said that Nagato walked away. Thank you for the idea, John. Location to the bombs is located in contain in a container that I sew in behind your eyeball. I have this toothpick to remove your eyeball before everyone explodes. Good lord. I, I would just fucking say, fuck it and die. <laughs> I and no way I'm sticking a no. The thought of sticking a toothpick in my eyeball is worse than the thought of, you know, hey, you're gonna explode the eye. Uh, fuck it, just take me. I don't get, I, I don't, yeah, fuck it. I would not chat. W would you guys go through with that? If you guys were stuck in one of those Saw jigsaw uh, traps from, from the movie Saw, like, w would you act like, like, yeah, like the one where, where w wasn't there one where the, the key was also like inside someone's eyeball? The key to one of those, uh, what was it, like one of those reverse bear traps or whatever they were called? Chad, I don't know, man. Jesus Christ. Then again, okay, oh god, oh. You know what, how about this? How about we never find ourselves in that situation? That's what, uh, that's what I always think about. Is like, when it comes to that, I wouldn't rather think, you know, would I rather do this or that? I'd rather just not even be in it. I'd rather just not even be in, in, in that. <laughs> Fuck that. I felt afraid of Nagito. The man disseminating from Nagito's body was seeping into my bones. <laughs> Your balls are covered in milk and breadcrumbs. Lies ahead of you as a KFC deep fry. Well, that's not bread and milk and breadcrumbs. It would have to be a ba some batter, proper batter, <laughs> like a beer batter or something. <laughs> I see you funded the known criminal, Jeffrey <laughs> Royland. <laughs> I should know. <laughs> Ten years ago, you funded the known criminal Justin Roiland. So off the leg of the... <laughs> with the pickle rick tattoo or mustard gas will be deployed in ten minutes. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Yeah, that was a scary movie for Nipple Demon. They, they had um. Oh god, who, who did that? It was um... It was Shaquille O'Neal. They actually, if I recall correctly, I don't think it was in person. They actually got like Shaquille O'Neal and Dr. Phil for the intro of that movie. And they did a Saw movie spoof and then he saws off the wrong leg. Quite goofy, quite goofy. <laughs> now I get to a so reliable, I don't have to do anything because he's shaking things up. <sighs> Bastard, I'll never forgive him. Damn it. Is he fucking serious about those bombs? Hey. Hey. As long as the traitor comes forward, he'll say where the bombs are, right? Is that his goal? Damn it! I'm begging you guys, it doesn't matter who does it, just, just someone has to come forward. I'm begging you guys. No matter how long we waited, no one was willing to come forward. Nagato said yesterday, I'll weed out the traitor even if it costs me my life. I finally understand what he meant. Nagato took his this entire island hostage and created a situation where the traitor has to come forward. That is Nagato's goal. What is he planning to do if the traitor doesn't come forward? Is he really going to blow up the entire island? 
Roro. We fell asleep. <laughs> of course. My motto is to do a good deed every day. When I was a, at a bar and shouted, "Can I get a Sam?" The female bartender happily answered, "Sure thing." Makes me so happy when someone else is this happy. Doing a good deed every day is awesome. But inside, that woman probably thought I was a loser for sitting alone in a cheap bar in the middle of the night. Damn it! I can't keep up with this crap. Hey, sweet cheeks, give me another Sam. <laughs> sweet cheeks. <laughs> huh? Not a Sam Adams? I'm obviously talking about raw salmon. And here's some good news for you. <laughs> I have imbued the smell of vanilla into the new Monokuma plushies. It's effective aromatherapy and it'll definitely calm everyone's nerves if they're agitated. Available in the near future. <laughs> that's it for Monokuma's shopping corner. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that Sweet Cheeks line is a reference. Um... Hold on, I need to find out if it is. <laughs> I swear to God. Hold on. No, I can't remember. Fuck it! Whatever, forget about it. It was gonna, not gonna be worth it anyways. Men's opening raunchy oh, websites. No! <laughs> Trip Executive Committee has an announcement to make. Good morning. Everyone. Oh no! You know what I was thinking? I was thinking of of, of Mel Gibson. That one that, that one thing he's like. Uh, but but it's not sweet cheeks. It's sugar tits. <laughs> it just popped in my in my brain. That's another character. I've been resting since the explosion yesterday, but my body still hurts. Fortunately, your time has run out. Game over. Why isn't the guest button working? <laughs> God damn it, I forgot to buy mustard. To make mustard gas with the mustard. To, to, for my saw trap. Ah, fuck it, just starve. Dull metallic sound is ringing in my ears and the back of my head feels hot. Can't think straight. But I can't afford to spend a whole day resting. I really just left my cottage. I don't know, just go on a date with someone. We got two days. You're right. You're the traitor, aren't you? Kick him in the nuts. The hell are you saying? Why don't you submit it already? If you don't, we're all gonna die. I'm not the traitor. Damn it! I'm begging you. It doesn't matter who admits it. Just save me. And hold you yourself, you loser. Complaining won't change anything, okay? Shut up! Shut up! I know that, but well, what else can we do? I need to think about that with the others. Let's hurry over. To, hurry over to the restaurant. Damn it! Who else here? Hmm? Slowly turn. You're not eating? Yeah. How is the hotel still standing, though? Oh, it's you. Covered in sweat. Huh. I was looking for Nagato. This traitor stuff bugs the crap out of me. I won't forgive I just you. have to beat him up and make him tell us where the bombs are. I can't find him anywhere. Is he hiding or something? Damn it. I'm trying to get hungry. Maybe I should go back to the restaurant. Benny looks pretty frustrated. I guess that makes sense after what happened yesterday. What happened was now. Well... Seems clear that whoever's a traitor does not know that they are the traitor. Which, when you think about it, makes up for a really bad traitor, right? <laughs> you know, when you really think about it, when you really, really think about 